The Bible says, For without faith it is impossible to please God. And he is a rewarder of them which seek him diligently. The Bible talks about he that heareth and understandeth the word is he that received the seed into the good soil. It also says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.15 And so in, in the parable of the sower, the parable is about the word of God. It says, and this is the parable, the seed is the word of God. So, the importance of rightly dividing the word of truth, studying and rightly dividing the word of truth. So first off, you have to have faith. Without the faith, you're never going to be curious enough to study the Bible because you won't believe it in the first place. But once you believe, you have to also hear the word. Or once you open yourself up to believing, you have to hear the word to hear what to believe. It says, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Um, so there's this importance of seeing the Bible in context and seeing scripture in context. And when you do, it's this beautiful thing life-changing thing, soul-saving thing, because you see the Bible is not a book of contradiction. It's a book of context, and it's past, present, and future. It's historical, it's contemporary, and it's prophetic. Uh, there's already been prophecies proving the Bible to be true, so that is uh, a big clue as to why you should believe the Bible. It says, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, wherein you do well that you take heed as a light that shines in, the, in a dark place until the day dawn and the day saw arise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Um, yes, yeah, says, for the word of God came not in old time, by the will of men, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And this is why the prophecies that they spoke were fulfilled. So this is clear proof that the Bible is completely true. Uh, and anything saying otherwise actually has to be a lie because these prophetic proofs are so strong of a proof that, um, that that alone should make you question the lies of pseudoscience that we were all brainwashed to desensitize us from the truth of the Lord. Um, but seeing the Bible in context is so important because then you will understand the word. And so where we are in the Bible is we are post-Acts free Hebrews. Romans through Philemon or Romans through Titus. Those are, Philemon is a very short book. And um, it's almost like it's placed in there to even remind us again that there's like a, a dividing point. Uh, because next, right after, is the book of Hebrews. Paul is both Jew and Gentile. So it is super important to study the word and understand that the Jews are one and the 